Hello, I'm Necro, and today I'm going to be taking you through the Seeds and Adventurers Tome Items of Shady Cliff. I'll put timestamps in the description, so without further ado, let's begin. We're going to start out at the Monastery Plaza Triport. We're going to start by taking this first jump and beginning a circuit around the map clockwise. Climb up the wall, and head to the right, till you get to right here, where we'll find the Monastery Abode Vista. Continue up, and jump. A quick mention for this spot right here, if you have the Bloody Fist already, you can bring it to this location where Dakira stands and you'll be able to find yourselves a hidden Makoko seed. As for me, I'm going to come back in the conclusion to Phaeton video to grab this one. For now, we're going to keep on heading clockwise. And before you take the jump down up here on this high wall, if you look in this broken part of the roof, you'll find yourselves a seed. Now you can run or teleport to the Shadow Monastery Entrance Triport. And this Pyre Palette's going to be the thing we need to remove with the Soulful Requiem from the Adventurer's Tone 60% reward in order to unlock hidden seeds in this zone. So here's the first one at right here on the map, which I'll again be coming back to in a later video. Now we're going to head to the Monastery Castle Triport. We'll hop down the rope to the right and make our way to this wall here. Beside this open gate, we're going to be able to climb up this rope. And if you make your way along the path for a while, you'll be able to jump down. Down here towards Soraka, the NPC, we're going to be looking out for the tough main Ryu Krakota. After you find it, go ahead and kill it. And this will be the first of these hidden entrances I can actually show you. It requires 300 courage, and if you do manage to have it, you can pass through like a teleport. And at the back, there's going to be a seed. Before we leave the secret area, there's one more seed to collect a little bit further in, right here underneath of this tent. Once you grab that seed, you can just head a little bit to the right to this wall and jump on down. From here, we're going to move a little bit southwest into the plaza, where at here on the map, you're going to see this little wooden horse beside this stone bench. If you investigate it, you're going to start the hidden story, Song of the Ancient Land. This has a 20 minute timer, so we're going to have to be quick about picking up the second book, because it's in the dungeon. Before then, we have a couple more things to grab, so head to about right here on the map. There will be some stairs here that you can actually walk up onto a secret path, and at the back of it there will be some stairs that you can climb down where you'll find another seed. And at right here I'd like to mention another pyre that requires Soulful Requiem. So now we're going to head back to the Monastery Castle Triport. We're going to go ahead and enter the dungeon. Before heading in, make sure you're checking your Adventurer's Tome to see if there's a specific difficulty you need to complete still. We'll listen to Zyka ramble on a bit and climb up this chain defeat the mobs and play the piano. And before I forget, here at the piano, we're going to search underneath of it for a seed. Now that we've played the piano, we can come back to the entrance and pull this lever on the opposite side of this boat, which will turn on a new zone that we can walk into. And in this secret area, we're going to find three Makoko seeds. One in the northwest corner, one in the north part, and one in the south. So I guess it would be northwest south. Then we're going to come to the middle and spin this lever. And in the east we're going to be able to head back out. Making sure we still have time left on our Song of the Ancient Land. Defeat these starving devourers. After you clear out some corrupted delanes you'll smash through this barricade here. And at the top of these stairs before you cross the door to the old castle, if you see here in the corner there's another horse that we'll search. This will give us Song of the Ancient Land 2 of 3 and refresh our timer. So we're going to try to be quick and finish up this dungeon before that wears off. After beating the Sacrian Priests, you'll walk to the bottom right of this room. It'll be right here. You'll see another Makoko. We'll head to the next objective. After reaching it, you'll see a bunch of enemies run up from the stairway right here. Kill them. And walk down that stairway. At the bottom of the stairwell, there will be a break in the wall where you can climb along right here and grab another seed. Back on the main path, we're going to continue along. You'll walk a ways and climb up this chain. You'll reach the castle center. As you do, if you just walk back outside and look around to the side of this wall, you'll find another seed. And that's right here on the map. Walking back inside the castle, if you hug the left wall, till you get to this bookcase, you'll be able to see beside of it another seed. Now we're going to ignore a lot of these enemies and make our way through the castle. In the interest of time, you'll soon have to destroy some more chaos gates, so go ahead and do so. Once the gates are dead, if you check the corner here where they were standing, against this wall, you'll be able to pick up another seed. 
outside, you'll start to walk across this bridge, and you'll see the little tip of its leaf, but uh, right here against this wall is another seed. Now we've got all the Makokos, all that's left is to kill the boss. Make sure you talk to Zyka before you leave if you need to complete it. You'll know you've done it once you have access to this chest. Now hopefully you still have some Song of the Ancient Land timer left. To finish it, we're going to head to the Land of Despair Triport in Red Moonshade really quickly. And you're going to want to make your way to the far north of the map, to about right here, where on the tip of this cliff we're going to see the final wooden horsey. And there we go, Song of the Ancient Land 3 of 3. Now we'll just pick back up the Monastery Castle Triport in Shady Cliff. Now that we're back outside the dungeon, we're going to go ahead and pick up one more hidden story. It is right beside the dungeon entrance. You can just barely see it mixed in with the leaves, but there's a book on the ground we can investigate. Unlike the other hidden stories, this name text doesn't pop up, but if you hover right here you can see that it's the Laughing Man 1 of 3. The second part takes us to Jurgleport in the Nameless Valley, so go ahead and teleport there. From the Triport, you're going to head north and up these stairs, taking the jump at the end of the path, and then moving slightly south into this crevice beside these stairs, where you can find another book. Now you'll have the 2 of 3 buff. For the final one, we'll head to Kalaja at the Old Plaza Triport. For this one, simply run between the Transfer Skill Tree Vendor and the Ability Stone Cutter, and the book is pretty obviously on the ground here, and that will finish up this hidden story for us, The Laughing Man. I really like these ones with the unique drawings and stuff, and the flavor text. I wish they would do more like this. Now back to the Monastery Castle Triport we go to finish up Shady Cliff. From the Triport, we're going to take this zip line to the southwest, and continue on in a clockwise fashion. Then if you run to right here, you're going to find another Soulful Requiem Pyre. And take another zip line, making our way to here on the map. You'll be able to walk up to this little crevice here and just jump over it. And you can just barely see it on the bottom of my screen, but beside this statue is another Makoko. Now hop back over and make your way along these arrows until you can cross this beam up on the scaffolding. And here on this wall, we're going to be looking for the cadaver picking loud crow. Once you find it, go ahead and kill it. And we've got one final thing, which you can find by heading to the end of this wall. Right here. Once you get to this wall, if you move up to it, you'll once again find a climb down option. And here is our last seed of the zone. And that'll be all for Shady Cliff. If this video helped you at all, please consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you'd like to see the rest of the series, and let me know down below if there's anything you'd like me to do differently. We'll head to Red Moonshade next, so until then, that'll be all for me. See ya!